was a cluster bomb dropped on Dar'a last July. The same month, Human Rights Watch suspected the Syrian government started using the explosives. In its latest report, the group says it has evidence. If we needed any further proof of the Syrian government's complete disregard for the lives of its own citizens and its own children, well, here it is. Because we know now that the government is using uh, cluster munitions in populated areas. They first detonate in the air and they release bomblets over large areas, sometimes dozens, hundreds of them on the, an area the size of a football field. A and these bomblets, uh, when they don't detonate on impact, uh, remain active for, for weeks, months months, sometimes years. So we believe that the, the Syrian government should immediately stop uh, using the, these unacceptably dangerous weapons. Syrian activists have long accused the government of dropping these bombs on different towns and cities. This is what the Assad regime has left for the unarmed civilians. These bombs are banned internationally. They are left for our children. More than 100 countries have signed a convention banning the use of these bombs. Syria is not one of them. But while the regime may dominate the sky, rebels say they are making gains on the ground. As the fight for Aleppo intensifies, the city's ancient history is being turned to ash. These exclusive pictures show opposition fighters in the old city taking control of the Umayyad Mosque. Parts of this Islamic masterpiece have been destroyed. The battle for Aleppo now seems to have reached a stage where neither side will be able to claim victory anytime soon. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera.